Hello, this is Michael B. from Bring a Trailer, and we are test driving 74 Imperial Crown Coupe. It is a chilly 30 degrees outside right now, but I'm enjoying myself in the lap of luxury in our cloth and leather bench seated gigantic land yacht. As I'm driving down the road here at about 65 miles per hour, it's nice. This is a lot of fun. These over-assisted power steering, over-assisted power brakes, all the accoutrements. This is really something. This is how they were in the 80s. This rim blow steering wheel is just hilarious. Got it up to 70, pulling off the highway here. Goes down the road awfully nice. Radio, full effect. Yeah, we got Christmas music going on. Power antenna. Looks like we're at about, oh, a third of a tank of gas. So that probably means we'll be able to get around the block a few times. Going to that solid four-wheel disc brakes. And it feels real good. No noises. It doesn't pull any direction. Tilt telescopic rim blow steering wheel. I see the rear defrost is actually a blower motor. That seems to work great at this point. Lots of cigarette lighters. I think there are eight cigarette lighters in this car. I'm sitting here behind a semi truck, which has got to have the same gross vehicle weight that we have. I'm going to go ahead and step on it. It downshifts nicely. Big 440 cubic inch. Look at this. Pulls away with gusto. Immediately going to get right back onto the highway. I think I'll wait for some traffic to go by. The big semi rig I passed is going to go zip and zoom. Starts and idles really nice. Currently showing 58,000 miles, just turned 58,029. Smooth. Really goes down the road like you're riding in your couch in the living room. It sounds really good. It's got dual exhaust with the big Chrysler exhaust tips out of the rear bumper. Look at this. Arm up on the seat. One hand on the wheel. This is what they meant to do back in 1974. Let me hit that rim blow again. Try the cruise control stalk. Here we are at 65 miles per hour. Cruise controls, cruising controlling. We still have about a third of tank of gas. So we're looking good there. I'm coming into a corner up here that is a wide right-hander. We'll take it and see what we think. Got a little bit of traffic in front of us. The look out the windshield with this hood that has got to be 11 feet long is really impressive. All right, coming around. Seems to handle this with competency. Not a squeak from the tire. Feels good. Let me adjust the heating here. So far, so good. Turn that rear defrost off. Wait for a little bit of traffic. Pulling out here. Runs really well. got an 8-track, if we can call that, cassette deck. 
I don't have the 8-track here handy. The automatic climate control is doing its thing. Uh, sometimes the fan's set on high, sometimes it goes down to low. I'm going to turn it down because it's cooking me. Good. I've got it adjusted so the seat's pretty far back and the telescopic wheel is towards me and down with the tilt. All that is just super fun. You can personalize it to suit you. I'm getting the looks and the waves. It's not often that you get to see a car like this. Anyhow, no squeaks, no rattles. Rides around effortlessly with class. And it seems like everything's on board on this cruise ship. If you have any further questions before the auction ends, feel free to ask. And have some fun with this one. This is a classic that is collectible. It's rare. Uh, it seems to me like it's a lot of fun. And it might be something that would suit you You'd have some fun with it, like the previous owners have. Again, temperature sitting at a fine, oh, it looks like about 160. Alternators charging well. Fuel gauge now down to a quarter. 